welcome back to Jamie's Hack Shack. But we're gonna be doing Christmas themed. We're gonna be doing an advent calendar, day one. So that means we have 11 left. Let's get started. So we did one of these last year, right? Mm -hmm. So this is from the same folks at the Pie Hut. And last year we did 12 days of Codemus. And this one says, let it glow. I think it may have to do with things that are lighting up and stuff. You may have some things that you remember from last year, but let's see what we've got here. This is box number one, as you can see right here. Real quick, Jamie from the future at the editing station here. Our bench down view had real bad echoey audio, like multiple sources were goofed up or something in OBS. I've done my best and used multiple tools and different things to try to lower the echo and make it passable but I didn't have any other option and we couldn't reshoot this. So I apologize and hope you can bear with me and deal with it. Uh, we won't have this problem for any more of these. Thanks. We are going to be opening it. So let's do it. A breadboard. Yeah. Ooh, we used that last year. Yeah, we like did wires and it was kind of like a brick, something like that. that hmm. Two breadboards. A wire. It's a USB cable. That is a USB. My third USB to... Let's see what's in the little box. A box and a box and a box. Oh, and one more thing. We're going to try to keep everything together because when we're done playing with this, at the end of the episodes, we're going to give this away to one commenter for the last episode. But you've got to be in the continental U.S., I think. Or at least in the U.S. that has the same shipping rate. So we'll send this out to you. Okay, so what is this right here? I have no idea. So remember, like, this is a Raspberry Pi... Pico H and the H just means it's got headers on it and our code that we'll be running during this will all be running on this just like last year we're going to use the Pi 400 again to do all the coding and to do all the captures and that kind of thing for this okay so the first thing he said I need to do is to put the Pico into the breadboard so can you do that for us okay there we go now it's done Okay, so that's set one. Okay, next it says we're gonna snap these two breadboards together. So that's together, I'm not sure that's probably one of us to do. But that is that. I think what we do now is plug in the USB cable. So can you plug this one into that? And it goes a certain way. Oh, I'm sure. See so that plugs in there. Push, push, push. All right. All right, now, instead of holding down the boost select, so I'm gonna hold down boost select. And I want you to follow this and follow the available USB port right here on the Pico 400, okay? I mean, on the high 400. Put that in there. Got it? I'm going to let this go. And then we'll see what the next steps are right here. So yeah. that popped up this way. We're just going to minimize this, okay? And we're going to come over here to programming and should see one. Do you see one that says Thony? Which one says Thony? Tell me to stop. That one. Okay. So now... <clears throat> I think it tells us, look at this, it's going to do the, um, it's going to install MicroPython, right? Mm. So it's ready. We've already done that, right? And then and, and click install. Okay. So we're seeing that. Look at that. Ready? Here we go. Okay, close. All right. So now I think that's installed. Let's see what we do next. First thing we're going to do is get our Pico talking to us. We're going to tell it to print a message to us, specifically, hello world. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So there are many functions. You can uh, directly in shell window or script. So shell is you can do commands one at a time, like when you type them right in there, or you can give it a like a file to run. So let's try it in the shell. Okay. So I want you to write right here. I don't click right here. So you type the word print. You want to type just like this. Okay. Print and then a parenthesis. This one shift nine. And then put a quote or these guys. Okay. And you're going to type hello world, however you want to. Then close quote, another quote right here. Got to do the shift. Sorry. And now do this like that. Okay. Now hit enter and see if it comes back to us. Hey, look, see what it did. It did what you told it to. So it said hello world. Yep. We talked to print the string and the string was the hello world. 
type something else fun in there and then to see if it prints. You can just erase it and uh, type something else cool. Um, subscribe. Sure. See now, it said it did what you told it to. It printed that one word out, right? So now we're going to also do it as a script, okay? I'm do this. Copy. I'm going to come up here and actually put it in the script, okay? You should see we're going to go up here and we hit run up here. Run the current script. So that's running this, okay? So I'm going to hit that. And I'm going to run it on the Pico. Well, I'll save it on... I guess it doesn't matter. Well, let's say I'll save it on the Pico. We'll give it a name. Test. Okay. Look at it down here. Look at this. It did it too. Mm -hmm. Next, the guide said we should try some basic math and... We did a little two plus two there. And then we got into something a little more advanced when it had us learn about what the import did and how to address an LED with the pin. And when we take it high, it turns it on. And when we make it zero, it turns it off. And that's all for today. Thanks for staying with us and dealing with some of the sound issues there. We will be back as soon as we can with day two.